No matter how advanced our civilization becomes, there's something truly terrifying about the ancient mysteries left unsolved by science and reason. Ever since our species crawled out of the primordial ooze, we humans have been compelled to build bigger and brighter monuments to mark our achievements throughout the ever-marching marathon of progress. After all, it's human nature to leave something remarkable behind. However, some of those things have pointed toward a darker side of human history. From monolithic statues to cursed blades, here's 15 ancient artifacts that will give you chills. It was often observed that the masonry structure of the walls resembled to a live material. Dinosaur remains in Mexico. All right, what better way to begin this list than with undeniably the most terrifying ancient artifact imaginable, dinosaur bones. Okay, maybe that's a slight over-exaggeration given the fact that these catastrophic lizards died out millions of years ago, but still, anything with razor-sharp claws and sword-sized teeth deserve its fair share of respect. First discovered back in March of 2020, scientists surveying the river deltas of Mexico have recently unveiled the skeletal remains of an enormous flying reptile that would have once soared over the skies of the ancient Sahara Desert. Yeah, that's pretty far off course, right? Unearthed by a team of fossil miners, the scientists discovered that the remains belonged to the legendary pterosaur, an enormous flying reptile that had a wingspan of over 13 feet and which terrorized the ancient planet by swooping down from the skies and snatching their prey using a set of large spike-like teeth. Believed to have been the first winged vertebrates, pterosaurs lived among the dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period, but they, alongside their fellow lizard monsters, were wiped out over 65 million years ago, leaving behind just fragments of their skeletal remains like this one. Just look at the size of this thing. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The Habits of Flores All right, skeletal dinosaur artifacts are one thing, but the remains of an ancient species of humanoid? That's a different story entirely. In literature, there is certainly no other species quite as iconic as the fictional hobbits that were made famous by J.A.R. Tolkien's legendary works of literature. But incredibly, it seems that the truth may be stranger than fiction, because in the past several decades, scientists have unearthed evidence of an ancient hobbit-like race that once flourished on the planet. Recent scientific digs have shown that, roughly around 60,000 years ago, a species of humanoid once lived and possibly thrived on the isolated Indonesian island of Flores. Known scientifically as Homo floresiensis and more colloquially dubbed as the Hobbit people, these humanoids stood as less than four feet tall and startling evidence has been revealed of them cultivating stone tools, butchering meat and even possibly crossing miles of Pacific Ocean in order to colonize countless other island homes. Incredibly, these humanoids weren't just some random offshoot of evolution, but an entirely capable and technologically advanced primitive society. The most staggering implication of these remarkable hobbits is that there's a very clear possibility that they're even older than what scientific studies have suggested. Some estimates suggest that they may be as old as one million years, pointing toward a far more successful hobbit society than we may have expected. <laughs> King Tut's death Sure, for our next entry, ancient artifacts don't get much more terrifying than the death tomb of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh, right? When Howard Carter famously opened the seal of the fabled King Tutankhamun's tomb, the world held its breath, mainly for the fact that they were fearful of an ancient curse being unleashed onto the world. The truth is, when it comes to ancient mysteries being unearthed from the bowels of the earth, King Tutankhamun's tomb is one of the most remarkable discoveries in human history. However, despite our obsession with this ancient king, we still don't really know how he died. When Carter first arrived in Egypt back in 1891, he became convinced that there was at least one undiscovered tomb that had avoided the prying eyes of modern archaeology. And he was right. What he eventually found was a treasure trove of ancient Egyptian history, filled to the brim with artifacts that had remained untouched for over 3,000 years. Of course, the most important of all the findings, a solid gold sarcophagus that contained the mummified body of King Tut is perhaps the most incredible archaeological discovery in living memory. But once his team of archaeologists had opened the tomb, 
In the months that followed, many of them died in mysterious circumstances, putting a halt to the scientific study of King Tut's death. Now, several scientists believe that he died in a tragic chariot injury, while others maintain that he was murdered and his mummification was deliberately botched. Whatever the case, it seems that the most infamous ancient Egyptian pharaoh is far from being laid to rest. <laughs> Sakse Huamen When it comes to the artifacts of astonishing ancient engineering, few places are as awe-inspiring as the stones of Sakse Huamen. Built by the pre-industrial Incans, the three-tiered walls of the incredible complex in Cusco, Peru are a true marvel of engineering encompassing some of the biggest stone blocks ever found in ancient architecture. The thing is, however, that it isn't really just the size of these incredible stones, but the truly incredible assembly of them. You see, these monolithic stone blocks are fitted together so tightly that mortar wasn't even necessary to their construction when they were built over 600 years ago. Weighing over 200 tons each, the stones of this extraordinary structure are believed to have been the largest used in any building in pre-Hispanic America and they display a style of precision stoneworks that's unmatched across the rest of the world. This incredible combination of engineering, which features a variety of interlocking shapes and a mysterious inward-leaning wall, has puzzled scientists for decades, and the truth behind this incredible engineering method is yet to be revealed. It's believed to be ancient remains of a much larger fortress complex that once stood atop it, and it points toward a style of engineering that was once used by the Incas that remain unrivaled in history. The softening of the stone and converting the material of the blocks into a more malleable state. Mm -hmm. Sulawesi Statues Speaking of extraordinary ancient engineering, this next entry is like nothing that we've ever seen. Take a look at the Sulawesi statues, a series of ancient stone artifacts that have been source of countless mysterious things throughout history. First discovered back in 1908, these extraordinary stone megaliths were first unearthed in the remote Bada Valley, hidden deep in the central Sulawesi, an island that forms the greater Sunda Islands of Indonesia. The thing is, these incredible statues are yet to be formally cataloged and documented by archaeologists, meaning that despite over 100 years passing since their discovery, no one is exactly sure just how old these ancient artifacts are. Coming in a variety of shapes and sizes, these monoliths are scattered over an incredibly wide area of central Sulawesi, and because of their remote location, researchers can only access the site at certain times of the year. However, the strangest thing about the intricately carved statues are just how similar they are to the legendary Maui head statues of Rapa Nui, also known as the Eastern Island statues. Whatever the case, it seems that there is much more to these incredible artifacts than anyone may have ever expected. <laughs> Sword of Monte Siepi it was only a matter of time before an ancient legendary sword found its way onto this list, and the tumultuous tale of the Sword of Monte Siepi certainly lives up to this expectation. While the legendary sword, Excalibur, was said to have been pulled from King Arthur in times of old, there has never been any historical evidence of it actually existing. The Sword of Monte Siepi, however, is the real deal, with an equally legendary and incredible tale tied to it, just like its fictional counterpart. Currently held in the Montesiepi Chapel of Tuscany, Italy, the sword is said to have once belonged to Galgano Gudodi, an incredibly wealthy knight who was said to have received a vision from the Archangel Michael sometime in the year 1180. In one of these visions, the angel told him to renounce all his early possessions, but the knight figured that it would be a pretty difficult task and informed Michael that it would be like splitting a stone. In order to prove his point, he thrust his sword into a rock and to his surprise, the blade passed through the surface as if it were water, where it remains to this day. While there isn't any evidence of this story being true, incredibly, carbon dating has confirmed that the sword is as old as the legend says it is, dating back to the late 1100s. Pretty spooky, right? The Sing Sing Jue Disappearance China is one of the more complex and vastly rich civilizations on Earth, filled to the brim with thousands upon thousands of years of ancient history. While historians have determined that ancient China may have flourished as far back as the last 5000 BC, the evidence behind it is murky at best. 
However, recent excavations have revealed startling evidence of one of China's most remarkable ancient societies, which was believed to have been mysteriously disappeared nearly 3,000 years ago. Back in 1929, a farmer from the Sichuan province of China uncovered a hoard of jade and stone artifacts while repairing a sewage ditch roughly 25 miles away from the city of Chengdu, and while they were recorded at the time, their significance wasn't fully understood until 1986 when archaeologists unearthed two more pits of Bronze Age treasure that held a similar haul. These included a hoard of dazzling jade relics, around 100 elephant tusks, and a series of stunning 8-foot-high bronze sculptures suggesting an impressive technical ability that wasn't present anywhere else in the world at the time. While the disappearance of this extraordinary civilization has long been a mystery, these artifacts have allowed scientists to determine that the Chengdu civilization disappeared due to a catastrophic earthquake that buried the city beneath the sands of time. Atacama Mutant Baby all right, when it comes to ancient artifacts, having potential evidence of a skeletal alien is a pretty terrifying implication, right? The thing is, despite being part of a long line of outlandish alien claims, an object known as the Atacama skeleton has become one of the more controversial pieces of evidence in the great alien debate. And at first glance, this object certainly looks like the real deal. After it was first discovered back in 2003 in a deserted Chilean town high in the Atacama Desert, rumors quickly began to emerge suggesting that the skeletal remains of an otherworldly origin, perhaps even directly related to an alien visitation on Earth at some point in human history. However, scientists have concluded that the Atacama skeleton is actually the 6-inch skeletal remains of a human fetus. An extensive DNA analysis has suggested that the premature human fetus was identified with a series of unusual mutations, often associated with dwarfism and scoliosis. Incredibly, Although they were initially thought to be older, the fetal remains have been dated back to as recently as the 1970s, bringing into question how and why the Atacama skeleton has remained so perfectly preserved. While it's been the subject of great scientific debate, it seems that several different studies have all contradicted each other in their claims. The truth is, the Atacama skeleton is likely of human origin, but the genetic anomalies surrounding the incredible discovery have yet to be fully verified. <laughs> <laughs> the Cockno Stone Back in 1887, a priest by the name of James Harvey discovered a strange and ancient object on a portion of farmland in Scotland. There it lay buried in the earth for almost 50 more years, forgotten just as quickly as it was discovered, as the priest had no idea what to do with this extraordinary artifact. The mysterious object, now known as the Cockno Stone, was recently unearthed back in 2016 in an attempt to decipher its enigmatic origin. Carved with dozens of grooved spirals and geometric shapes, the Cognos known is the true definition of an ancient puzzle. And incredibly, carbon dating has revealed that it was created almost 5,000 years ago. The mass of stone, which measures 42 feet by 26 feet, is covered in more than 90 indentations known as cup and ring marks, which is believed to have been a form of prehistoric record keeping. However, the story of this stone is far weirder than just being a pre-Bronze Age diary. You see, although the original meaning contained in the Cockno Stone is now lost, many scholars believe it to be some form of an ancient star map. Over 5,000 years ago, in the ancient valleys of Scotland, the pre-Celtic people were potentially recording the passages of the stars and carving them on an elaborate stone slab. Incredibly, the project to reveal the true secrets of the Cockno Stone is still underway. Who knows what other ancient mysteries will be revealed? <laughs> The Dendera Light. All right, stay with us because this next entry is particularly controversial. And while the Dendera Light isn't exactly an ancient artifact per se, it is the potential evidence of an ancient technology once existing that may shine a light on the mystical origins of our ancient ancestors. Contained within one of the best preserved ancient temples in Egyptian history, the temple of the goddess Hathor at Dendera, the Dendera light is the potential depiction of ancient Egyptians once having access to electricity. Yeah, you heard that right. Carved in hieroglyphics, the Dendera light is found in three separate stone images, outlining the incredible construction of an object that is frighteningly similar to a light bulb. Formed from a lotus-shaped socket at one end, with a cable traveling beneath and a snake-shaped cord-like filament inside of it, the Nendera light is believed to be held by a priest of Hathor 
holding the lamp in a ceremonial manner and ritualistically bathing their congregation in light. While the jury is still out, this may be startling evidence of our ancient ancestors somehow having access to primitive electricity. Hmm. Mystery Hill If you thought ancient Britain's Stonehenge was a place of unrivaled mystery, well, it seems that the United States may have their own type of prehistoric stone circle. The thing is, Mystery Hill, otherwise known as American Stonehenge, is actually nothing like Stonehenge at all, other than the fact that it's made entirely from stone. Consisting of a series of small stone walls, odd stone arrangements, and intricate underground chambers, the mysterious site claims to be a 4,000-year-old megalithic astronomical complex built by an ancient Native American culture. Well, that's one story anyway. You see, Mystery Hill has had a pretty dubious past after it was discovered by an eccentric man named William Goodwin back in the 1950s, who claimed that it was actually a long-lost monastery of Irish monks. Despite the fact that Mystery Hill is most likely some kind of elaborate old-fashioned hoax, the site has actually been carbon dated back to 2000 BC. So who knows? Maybe there's more to this place than we may have expected. The mystery of Mystery Hill continues. Ancient Egyptian Mummy Dogs If you thought ancient Egyptian light bulbs were mesmerizing, how about 8 million mummified dogs? While it's no secret that the pharaohs of ancient Egypt practiced ritualistic mummification, it seems that their preservation to the afterlife may have also extended to their canine best friends too. Back in 2015, while surveying a series of ancient catacombs just south of Cairo, Egyptian researchers discovered a network of burial sites filled with a huge number of mummified animals, nearly 8 million of them, and most of them dogs. Incredibly, the catacombs were connected to an ancient temple complex dedicated to Anubis, the jackal-headed god of the afterlife. Pointing toward the ritualistic origin of these perfectly preserved canines, it's believed that animal mummification was a common practice in ancient Egypt and beloved pets were often laid to rest at the temple of Anubis in order to allow their spirit to journey to the afterlife. <laughs> Miami's Stone Circle All right, while we touched on the matter with Mystery Hill, the United States has a surprising amount of ancient structures that have yet to be determined. One of those is the Miami Circle, an ancient place that was discovered in the Sunshine State of downtown Miami way back in 1998. It was first unearthed after a property developer purchased a plot of land in downtown Miami with the intention of building a luxury condominium in its place. Incredibly, the ancient site has already been built upon, and it was covered by a 1950s-era apartment complex. After it was demolished, a routine survey of the area uncovered hundreds of mysterious holes deep in the site's bedrock, all of which comprised an almost perfect circle that stretched 38 feet in diameter. What they had discovered was the Miami Circle, otherwise known as America's Stonehenge, the oldest known prehistoric site in America, which is believed to date back to more than 2,000 years ago. While the leading theory is that the Stone Circle was once occupied by the Tequesta people, its significance to their culture is yet to be determined. The Kachabib Despite the fact that our planet has been circumnavigated and fully mapped for several centuries, there are still some mysteries hiding in plain sight that have gone otherwise unnoticed. Let's turn our attention toward Kat Shabib, one of the more intriguing ancient artifacts in the Middle East. Way back in 1948, a British diplomat named Sir Alec Kirkbride was traveling by airplane across the Middle Eastern country of Jordan when he accidentally unearthed something standing out in the arid desert environment. Near the end of the journey, he noticed the vague outline of a strange structure on the desert floor, and after taking a photograph of his discovery, he was awestruck at its finding. It was a gigantic wall, the Kat Shabib, a lost long fortification of an ancient kingdom. Somehow, despite extending over 93 miles across the desert, this mysterious ancient wall had fallen through the cracks of modern history. However, after investigating the origin of Kat Shabib, it was later revealed by local inhabitants that the wall was built by an ancient prince of an even older civilization. According to the local people, the wall of Kat Shabib has been built long before the advert of Islam, and it has already stood as a marker of a forgotten empire for thousands of years. The Rosetta Stone And for our final entry into this perplexing world of ancient history, 
what better object to end on than with one of the more important artifacts in human history, the Rosetta Stone. First discovered back in 1799 by a group of French army engineers who were part of Napoleon Bonaparte's campaign throughout Egypt, the mysterious stone slab was unearthed while repairs were being made to a fort near the town of Rashid, otherwise known as Rosetta. For the next several years, the stone's location was lost, but it later came into the possession of the British Army after they defeated the French forces in Egypt in 1801. At the time, the British Army weren't aware of the significance of this incredible artifact, but several decades later, it was found that the Rosetta Stone contained an ancient decree written in three ways, in hieroglyphics, an Egyptian demotic, and an ancient Greek. It was the key that historians needed in order to decipher the cryptic hieroglyphics of ancient Egypt, and without it, our understanding of the ancient world would have been nearly impossible. Incredible. And there we have it, 15 ancient artifacts that will give you the chills. What you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>